the winner of the Nokia Business Innovation Award, Susie Teagan. I'm a little bit overwhelmed by this because um, when I was originally uh, advised that I was um, put up as a well, nominated um, to be part of the process, uh, it took me a while to actually accept it. And um, I thank you, Simon, for encouraging me to, um, to continue. Um, I'd like to thank all the finalists. And the reason I'm a little bit nervous is because I know I'm surrounded by some really impressive people. And you've all done this because you've worked really hard and you've had some really tough times. And I'm sure there have been times that you found it difficult to get out of bed in the morning because you think, it doesn't have to be this hard. But because you have this love and you believe in pulling people together and actually achieving something, um, you have been able to do some wonderful, uh, wonderful things. So I also thank the people um, in the Eyre Peninsula. Uh, we personally live in, on a property in the southeast of South Australia, in the Limestone Coast, and I originally became involved in Free Air because I had read about the wonderful things that uh, the community of the Eyre Peninsula was doing at a time that not only had they been through a drought, but they had also had very fluctuating grain prices. Um, the global market in all sorts of different commodities was, um, uh, was not stable. And if anything, those people could have quite easily stuck their head in the sand. And I consider myself so fortunate that I've been able to be part of a group of people that have actually said, you know what? We know that we can do something. We know that we can support each other. We know we can be innovative in our approach. And we know the importance that rural communities make to the greater, of Australia, greater Australia. And we know what food means to Australia, but also on a global scale, what, the, what food means to the future of um, Asian Pacific people um, developing. I, um, I cannot say how humbled I am to have represented those people and to be just a mere cog in the whole system. They have the best sense of humour in the Eyre Peninsula and uh, they've been extremely supportive of the process and have been extremely innovative in the fact that they know that by working with uh, government and uh, private business, by working with rural and city, and by working across different industries, you can actually achieve some wonderful things. I also would like to thank my partner David. My partner David is one of those people that um, is supportive with no, with no um, limitations. He, um, he loves me to do well and he encourages me and again there are times where you doubt your own skills and you doubt whether you're doing the right thing and uh, he has a real passion for rural and regional Australia as well and um, I love him for that uh, quality and I love him and the rest of my family for allowing me and encouraging me to go on the road less travelled. I also thank my son who has inspired me over the years because he has supported um, us as a family, including my uh, young daughter, or our young daughter, who's had um, quite a few medical challenges over the years. And uh, I've learned so much from him that I've been able to apply in the rest of my, my life. Not last, um, the two sponsors. I think it's fantastic that you are willing to support those people that are really trying to achieve great things from very, very small beginnings. And uh, for large companies to support that um, means a lot to people like us because it means that it is important uh, for us to build some fantastic businesses and build some vibrant communities. I, um, I also thank Nokia because of their culture of innovation but also working across industries 
and ensuring those industries have abilities to be more efficient and uh, to uh, be innovative in the way they approach uh, different um, industries. So, for example, in medicine, I actually started working with Telstra and telecommunications in medicine years ago, and I now see it being applied in agriculture. And it doesn't really matter what the content is. I believe those sort of approaches will allow rural communities and city communities uh, to, to develop and, and have an equal footing. Um, I live by the motto, do the things that you think you cannot do. And that was Eleanor Roosevelt, who not only had quite an impact on America's um, social issues, but also the business community. And uh, I believe there's always a very fine balance between financial, environmental, and social impact. And I think the Free Air Group, which started off as a group of uh, 270 stakeholders that decided to put their money in and actually develop something that would add value not only to those farming communities but also the businesses in the Air Peninsula, um, and now has a shareholding of 375. I'm so proud of um, that community. And I also wish to acknowledge Sue Chase, who's on the Free Air Board, she really does have her fingers in many pies, and um, it is uh, to her credit that also um, Free Air has achieved so many great things. Lastly, I thank my, um, my mother and my grandmother, who are back in the old country in Austria. Um, they have provided me the ability to be able to get back up when you get knocked down, and I think... Um, all those experiences actually teach you so many things, and uh, I think uh, the speaker that, um, I think it was actually Sue, said that those things actually make you more resilient and allow you to keep going. So I thank you for um, your time, and uh, thank you for the award.